Hey guys, so a lot of you have been asking me about the master cleanse, what it's all about. A few months ago, maybe a couple months ago, I posted a video talking about all the ingredients that you need and how to get started. Today I want to talk to you about what exactly it does. So I have some notes here. Um, first thing that it does that people really get excited about and one of the reasons why they do it is it flushes the toxins from your body. Now there's been a lot of controversy about that claim because as according to MD, they say that there's no proof that flushing the toxins and detoxing your body will aid in weight loss. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of people uh, come to the master cleanse is for weight loss. Weight loss is actually like a side thing that happens. It's kind of a after effect. The main thing that happens um, is you are releasing toxins from your body. You're getting more energy. And getting more energy is another thing that people are really excited about and another reason why people come to the diet. So you get a lot of energy. Also, your overall mood improves. Um, one thing I noticed too when I did it the second time is my eyes around the white part, they got lighter. So if you tend to have like a darker white part, um, more like on the um, kind of like an off-white or beigey or even slightly yellow, not like all the way yellow, but a slightly yellow color, you'll notice that lighten up a lot. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? Oh, another good after effect of this diet is the fact that because you're only consuming the lemonade, um, the herbal tea, and the salt water flush, if you decide to do the salt water flush, your body is adjusting to only having that set amount of calories and then your stomach is shrinking literally, like physically shrinking, and then also the amount that it takes to make you feel full changes. Um, and of course, it can go back to what it was before if you kind of just like go based on what you want and not how you're feeling and eat, you know, different things afterwards and then your, your stomach will go back to how it was and then you'll go back to your regular eating. But it's really something good to reset you so you don't go back to regular eating if what your um, purpose of this is to kind of get back on the right track and have a healthier lifestyle going forward instead of going from diet to diet. What else did I want to tell you guys? Um, one thing that people claim is that you will lose muscle mass on this diet. And I've heard that you know for years, and I've done this um, master cleanse several times, and I never got my muscle mass checked before and after until the last time, and it was kind of by accident because I went to um, my doctor and I got my fat levels checked, I did um, my water levels, all of these different things as far, and also my muscle mass. And they told me that my muscle hat mass had actually increased. And I wasn't doing like any uh, crazy amount of workouts. I was working out sporadically, you know, planks here and there, like not even weekly. And they said my muscle mass increased. So I think that that's pretty impressive. I don't know why that is. I can't say if it's because of the diet or not, but I've always heard that the master cleanse will actually make your muscle mass go down and my muscle mass went up. So that just goes to show you that everyone's body is different. You just have to see, you know, what works for you. A lot of people also do this diet for spiritual reasons. They want to just take a break and put a pause on everything, like not worrying about what you're going to eat and um, not thinking about food in general and just taking that time to meditate and pray or whatever your spiritual um, practice is. So it's a good way to kind of just focus on that spiritual practice while you are fasting because it, it is a fast because you're not having any food. Um, as far as anything negative that you may hear about it, just keep in mind that a lot of the sources that say that Master Cleanse is not a good idea, they are also sources that promote things like eating fish, eating chicken, eating um, you know low-fat dairy like MD the website MD, I went on there and I wanted to see like what they were saying about the master cleanse. And they were saying that, you know, there's no proof that the master cleanse is um, good for weight loss and that it detoxes you. But um, if you want to have a healthy diet, just eat fish, low fat dairy, chicken and turkey. So we already know that that's not a good idea. So um, just be careful with 
you know, telling people that you're on the diet or um, researching and then finding things that may kind of sway you the other way. But if you're watching this video, you probably have already made up your mind or you're thinking about it. So just keep that in mind. I'm not really here to sway you one way or the other. I just want to give you the tool so that you can be successful in it. And I will link the video be below where I talk about all the things that you'll need. And then we'll go from here. Today, I am not going to do the cleanse. I don't know if I want to start tomorrow or Monday. I may start it on Monday. But they say in general, the first three days are the hardest. And um, once you pass those first three days, you're not in, even really hungry. You may have a feeling like you want to chew on something, but your body is not feeling like you need to eat because you are getting a lot of nutrients from the, um, the nutrient-dense maple syrup. And... Of course, the water is something that you need in your body. And yeah, and you're also flushing toxins as far as the tea and the salt water flush. So what I want to do is give you guys like a blueprint in the description below in case this is the first video that you're watching about the Master Cleanse. And I'll link the other video that I talked about with everything that you'll need. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys. Bye.